Look at that face. You can see part of his brain up in there, too. I told you to stay away. Oh, my God. <laughs> What the heck is it called? <laughs> okay guys, holy crap, I am so excited today because I wasn't even looking for these things. I was doing something totally different and I happened to come across some more animatronics from Spirit Halloween on eBay that I don't think I've ever seen. I bit my tongue last night and it hurts, but let's jump right into this because I am so ready to show you what I found and see them for myself. So I've already brought up eBay here and I'm going to show you what I found. I think I found five of these things and the first one is called Moonshine Barrel Zombie. I have never seen this one before. It looks like he just basically is like a zombie inside a barrel and probably when you walk by he's motion activated and he jumps up and scares the crap out of you. So this actually sold already. This one's not for sale anymore. I don't know if there's any other ones on there. It sold for $103 back on January 1st. Um, let's look at the pictures of this thing. Okay, so yeah, the, the, um, the barrel itself says Zombie Killer Moonshine. <laughs> so let's see here. It says heart-stopping pop-up action for the ultimate scare. Disgruntled zombie sounds. What does a disgruntled zombie sound like, like as opposed to a regular zombie? Step pad motion activated. So that's what it looks like in the box there. I am not sure what year this is from. That is pretty cool looking actually. That, uh, the barrel looks like it's made out of fabric with probably like a wire rim and it probably just collapses all the way down. Um, let's see here. Yeah, he apparently jumps out and yeah, look at that thing. <laughs> look at those teeth. He definitely needs the Aquafresh. Ah, oh, that is awesome. Look, there's a hole in the, uh, in the front of the barrel there too where his hands are out the top, but you don't see him and his face. You can see right through the hole there if you look. All right, let's see. Look at that face. Jeez. Look at his mouth. <laughs> Those teeth, like, totally crack me up. And it looks like the eyes are the kind that light up. So let's see here. Again, there's the box. Um, <clears throat> I can't zoom in to see. I can't zoom in to see what the date is like when this was made. However, I do already have this pulled up on uh, the Spirit Halloween fandom page. I'll put a link to that page below because this is an awesome website. Um, 1,871 pages of Spirit Halloween history. Totally awesome. So, I've already brought it up here. Moonshine Barrel Zombie. It says that this one uh, was an animatronic sold by Spirit Halloween for the 2015 Halloween season. Let's roll down here. We do have the pictures. However, we've already looked at those on the website. So what we want to see here is, okay, hold on, hold on. This looks like a picture of when it was set up in the store. Okay. Yeah, in the barrel and popped out of the barrel. That looks like a haunted house beside him or something. I wonder what this other uh, animatronic is right beside him. I'm curious. But anyways, let's get out of that and let's go to this video here. Because I am, I haven't watched any of these videos yet. I saved them for this video. I like to watch this stuff while you guys are experiencing it too. So let's check this out. Here goes the video. Moonshine Barrel Zombie. <laughs> Jumped. <laughs> that is pretty cool. I like that. Let's let's watch that happen one more time because that was really cool. It actually made me jump because I was looking in the hole at his face, thinking, "Yeah, there's that hole, and you can see his face." So here we go. <laughs> I like how the jaw goes up and down too. That's cool, and he has like the uh, the evil laugh with it too. That's awesome. 
All right, that is a pretty cool one. I like that. Let's move on to the next one here, guys. Um, 2010 Caged Beast. Now, this one, he's only got one picture here on the listing. Um, it looks like a werewolf with a plaid shirt inside this cage here. And I have also brought that up on the Spirit Halloween Wiki page. And as you can see in this picture here, he sits in the cage with his legs hanging out. Reminds me of the two bullies on the movie Hocus Pocus at the end. Um, let's roll down here and look at some pictures. Okay, yeah, there he is in the cage. That's the side. Beware, live animal. Caged beast. Life-size, light-up eyes, shakes back and forth. I'm curious to see what this guy sounds like. Caged beast. I love the old packaging here, too. All right, let's see. There he is in the box. Um, let's get to a video here. Let's see. I wonder if this was... Oh, okay. Yeah, here's a picture of him set up in spirit, actually. And then here's... Oh, look at this! Here he is in the box at a Spirit Halloween Carnival of Horrors. And look beside him. Uncle Charlie. Holy crap, that would be the original Uncle Charlie, guys. That is so cool. All right, let's get out of this and go to a video because I am curious. All right, here we go. Caged Beast. about what I expected. Just werewolf sounds, growling and grunting, and and uh, he's stuck in a cage. All right, that one was okay. Not my favorite ever, but it was all right. So this is the one that I am really, really excited about. I love the zombie babies. This one is called Stabby. Look at this guy. <laughs> what in the world? It's like a zombie baby that is dressed up. Um, the box says stabbing motion, blood curdling screeches, battery operation. He's got a knife. He's stabbing a teddy bear. What in the world? Look at those two big teeth, the red eyes. What kind of a costume is he wearing, though? So he looks like he's in some kind of a bunny costume, maybe. Or maybe it's supposed to be a dog costume? I don't know. Big floppy ears. But he's an animatronic. <laughs> I can't get over that face. I cannot wait to watch the video for this. Yeah, you can see here where the arm is attached. And that's where um, it, it would allow the arm to move, to stab the teddy bear. Holy crap. Okay. Stabby. Let's go back over to the site here. There he is. Uh, this was for the 2012 and 2013 Halloween seasons. Wearing a rabbit costume, yeah. I, I didn't know if it was a rabbit or a dog, but it's a rabbit costume. Okay, when activated, the right arm raised up and down in a stabbing motion as the eyes lit up and sounds could be heard. I can't wait to hear those sounds. All right, let's see. We saw a good bunch of pictures on the eBay listing. Um, wait a minute, what in the heck is this? This is a picture from, holy crap, a Spirit Halloween catalog. Look at all these zombie babies. I am so excited right now. I'm saving this picture because I have to go back through and look at all these and see how many of these that I can actually find. Oh my gosh, this is, this is absolutely amazing. <laughs> and I think they're all animatronics too, like the ones that we've been finding at the stores now, they're not animatronics. Like the burrito baby, that's my, my favorite one ever. It's just a baby wrapped up in a in a blanket. But these apparently are all animatronics or it says they're wigglers. They shake, they wiggle, they laugh. Batteries included. Man, all right, that's for another video right there. Let's go find a video. Wait a minute, I, I look at this, this ad right here. Look, <laughs> look who volunteered to carve the turkey this year. 
and it's Daddy Bear and Stabby. Holy crap, that's the greatest ad ever. Okay, let's go to the video. Alright, Stabby. Do your stuff. Baby Stabby, here we go. The sounds could be better. Um, it's hard to even really make out what those sounds were. And the stabbing, that's cool, but I honestly expected that knife to go like deeper into the teddy bear. Um, okay, well there's Stabby. That's the one I was really, really looking forward to seeing. Wait a minute, where, what? Here's another ad we gotta look at quick. Spirit, share, and like. I, what is that? Thumb sucker zombie baby. Oh my gosh. I gotta try to find that one too. He's got an enormous hand with his thumb out and he's like biting it. <laughs> Alright, we'll come back to that one too. Thumb sucker baby. Thumb sucker zombie baby. That's gonna be for another video too, so stick around. I will find that one. Um, okay, the next one we have in line here is the life-size Hellraiser pinhead animatronic from 2010. I don't even think I knew they made this. Let's look at this quick. I mean, that's pretty good looking right there. Um, it looks like the eyes probably move back and forth. Let's see. There's the full-size guy, and he's on that old base like I was talking about in the other video where it's like a, a, an oval base and it has like a knob on it that you step on. Um, plus it is uh, motion activated. Let's see here. Okay. All right, so that's all the pictures in that one. Let's go to the spirit site here. Um, Life-size pinhead, 2010 Halloween season, replica of the character from the movie Hellraiser Bloodline. Now, confession time. I have never seen not one Hellraiser movie. I need to watch those, but I've never watched them. It just, I don't know, something about them, um, I don't know, it doesn't look like the greatest, but maybe it is. Maybe I'm missing out, so I'm going to have to get caught up on those. Anyway, let's go down here, look at a couple of the pictures here. All right, here's the original sculpt for the face. I can tell you, the, uh, the animatronic doesn't look like that. <laughs> there it is, and the animatronic doesn't look bad. But this is what it originally, like, the original sculpt was to make it look like. Okay, uh, let's see. Here's what the original box looked like. And anything else there we want to see? Here he is set up in a store. And kind of a blurry picture, but that's what it would have looked like. That gets me excited seeing that right there, because it makes me want to go in um, the spirit stores. And as you know, they're not open until... August at the earliest, man. I wish they had like one store that was open all year. <laughs> okay, let's see here. This is really cool. 2010 ad for uh, for the pinhead, and he's standing there with Michael Myers and Uncle Charlie. And there's Uncle Charlie's bucket just waiting for stickers. Okay, let's get to the video here. Here we go. If you guys can hear those animals in the background, it's because I'm at an RV park right now, right beside a zoo. <laughs> Alright, Pinhead, here we go. Welcome to the worst nightmare of all, reality. Which do you prefer, pleasure or pain? Personally, I prefer pain. You opened the box, and your soul belongs to me. I am pain. <laughs> you suffer beautifully. That was pretty creepy. I've never even seen the movie, but that just makes me want to go watch it now. That was pretty cool, and I noticed that in the video, too, um... 
his face looks much better than uh, than the pictures of the actual animatronic, but that is the actual animatronic there. So maybe in person it does look really good like that. Okay, let's get out of this one. We got one more to do, guys. And this one looks pretty cool. I love the style of these older ones. This one is called Mad Scientist. Look at that guy. Look at his face. <laughs> It looks like his head might even pop off just by that picture. The box says, don't be his next evil experiment. Sound and motion activated. Evil, menacing laugh. I don't know what the heck that is he's holding in his hand there, like a beaker or something. Um, let's look at some of these pictures. Look at that face. You can see part of his brain up in there, too. That is awesome. I love that. His eyes look like they probably light up. There's the teeth that need brushed. Um, let's see, there's the back, part of the box, there's the instructions. Oh, how tall is he? Does it say on the box? Hmm, larger than life size. He's, I mean, in the pictures, he looks like he's probably about four to five feet tall. Ooh, look at that hand, that's pretty cracked up. Okay, you know what he, oh yeah, that is a beaker. It's a, it's a green beaker, okay. Reminds me of the movie The Burbs, The Neighbors um, in The Burbs. Look at that guy. Okay, let's go to um, back over to the wiki site here. And here he is, Mad Scientist from 2008. Um, let's see. Also known as Dr. Delirium. Okay, I didn't know that. Of course, I, I, this may be the first time I've ever seen this guy. I, I don't recall ever seeing him before. Um, let's see, large, <laughs> resembled a large elderly scientist. White lab coat, green beaker, when activated, the body moves side to side, and the top of his head rose to expose a glowing brain. Cool, I can't wait to see this video. I knew the top of the head was going to come off. That is awesome. All right, let's see, the eyes flashed green numerous times, and laughing could be heard. Let's roll down here. Um... Just some pictures here of him in the box. Here's one of him set up in the store. I love seeing pictures like this in a store. Just makes me want to get back in those stores. And there's an awesome mummy in the background, too. That's cool. Okay. Look at this. Holy crap, it's huge! It's enormous! Look at this guy's head compared to the mad scientist's head. That's insane! Okay. And then here's a girl with the mad scientist. Looks like her head could fit inside his mouth. All right, let's see. Here's the video. Where's my headphones? <laughs> Here we go. Mad scientist, spirit Halloween, enormous head, ugly teeth. Dr. Delirium. This is a three minute video. That is pretty cool. I really like that. Even though his motions are only back and forth like that, I love how the head pops up and you can see the brain. I kind of wish that his jaw moved. But his eyes are flashing, you can see his brain, his head pops off. That is pretty cool. I really like this guy. That's one that I would actually love to own someday if I set up um, a Halloween display, like, outside. It would be so cool to have him set up in a whole lab. That would be awesome. All right, guys. That's it for today. I just had to share those with you because I came across them accidentally, and uh, they were so awesome. So if you like this kind of video, make sure that you comment below, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and come back because we're going to have plenty more. I told you to stay away.